This video introduces techniques to analyze the performance of the page, considering load time and runtime. Here we go, but make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. One objective of measuring performance in terms of websites, is analyzing how the page performs, during load time and runtime, intending to make it faster. Let's see how we can use Puppeteer to measure the performance of a page. The first technique we should aware of, is analyzing the load time through metrics. In order to do so, we'll use the Navigation Timing API, which is a web API providing information and metrics relating to page navigation and load events. For example, it can help us figuring the amount of time needed to unload the previous page, how long domain lookups take, the total time spent executing the Windows load handler, and so on. To get started, and actually access the metrics, we should use window.performance, which returns an object containing the timing-related information. On top of that, we need to use the evaluate method in order to literally evaluate it inside the page context. Before printing the metrics to the console, we will stringify the value and then parse it when logging. The reason is that if evaluate receives a function, which returns a non-serializable value, then the method returns undefined eventually. So to avoid, we stringify window.performance when evaluating within the page context, and parsing when logging it to the console. Great, let's run the script, and get an object with load time metrics. We can simply combine these metrics and calculate different load times over the loading timeline. For instance, load event end minus navigation start represents the time since the navigation started until the page is loaded. The second technique we should aware of, is analyzing the runtime through metrics. As far as the runtime metrics, unlike load time, Puppeteer provides neat and straightforward API, called metrics, which available on the page instance. Let's print to the console and run the script. Well, the result contains amount metrics, such as for documents, frames, nodes, etc. It also contains duration metrics like page layout or JavaScript executions. The interesting metric above is apparently JS heap used size, which represents the actual memory usage by JavaScript on the page. Nevertheless, it's worth mentioning that the result is actually the output of the performance.getmetrics method, which is part of Chrome DevTools protocol. Chromium Tracing is a profiling tool that allows recording what the browser is really doing under the hood, with an emphasis on every thread, tab, and process. In practice, this is reflected in Chrome DevTools as part of the timeline panel. In terms of Puppeteer, the tracing ability is possible either using the tracing object, and practically uses the Chrome DevTools protocol. For example, in order to record the browser activities during navigation, we should invoke the start method of the tracing object that's exposed by the page instance, obviously before the navigation. Notice we pass the path option to determine where the trace file would be created. Then, when the navigation finishes, we merely should invoke the stop method. Let's run the script, and the trace file would be created. As we can see, it includes data of the trace events. Besides, we can easily inspect the file using Chrome DevTools, Chrome Tracing Tool or the Timeline Viewer. To demonstrate, let's import it to Chrome DevTools. All we need to do is navigating to the Performance panel, clicking the icon of Load Profile, selecting the trace file, and finally start inspecting. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoy, and to subscribe to my channel.